Rabbits. Rabbits is a new podcast from Pacific Northwest Studios, the people who brought you Tannis and the Black Tapes. Um, this is a story that follows a woman who is undertaking an investigation into the disappearance of her friend. Her friend was a student researcher who was looking into an urban legend of a game that's been played throughout the centuries. Uh, this is game is called Rabbits you know, by people who are interested in it, but it's also numbered as well. I think the one she was on is seven, eight, or nine. Uh, the podcast is about an hour long in format, um, maybe 50 minutes on average for the episodes, or about three episodes in. Um, it's okay. I think the, the trouble is with Tannis and the Black Tapes, I had a backlog of episodes to go through so you could binge listen to them all and really get into the characters. Unfortunately, when you're listening to them every other week, because it come, comes in twice a month on a two-week rotation, you don't feel as involved with it. Really, they should have dumped one a week for the first month and then spread out the episodes, which I think they did with Black Tapes and Tannis anyway, uh, whether that was intended or not. Um, Otherwise, the girl who is the main character doing the voice acting, she isn't as good a voice actor as the people out of Black Tapes and Tannis. My friend that listens to it as well, it's the first thing he said to me is she just comes across as a little bit flat and whiny. There's an instance where she has a program put onto her computer and all she does is go on about how someone got this program onto her computer. She just wants to move along and it's not good storytelling and to be honest if she was putting a podcast together it wouldn't be very good podcasted if it was a factual one anyway. Uh, they introduce a couple of the same elements that you get from, well in particular Tannis where she's got a person who helps her now, a bit of the Mia Catnip character um, and he's obviously there to just fill in any plot holes and move the story along as needed by producing information from wherever to assist her. So is it worth listening to? Well if you like getting hold of these podcasts and you want something to fill the gap between the black tapes coming out or Lime Town or something or in between the gaps that the Tannis episodes come out on then yeah it's worth listening to it's an hour out of your day if you listen to it on your commute certainly worthwhile if you just like creepy episodes with lots of um, sort of filling into a popular culture that's fine they keep referring to it as an augmented reality game whether or not they took that from some sort of a news article somewhere and thought it sounded like a good starting base. I hope they don't tie themselves into it too much. Um, ultimately, I think there's just going to be some sinister cult behind it all. Um, but hopefully they do get some conclusions to the story as well. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. If you've listened to it and you've got a different point of view, let me know.